Lost and found in a world of pages, Paul and Hillary discover magic in a bookshop. Hello, Hillary. Isn't this quaint little bookshop amazing? It's like stepping into a different world. Oh, absolutely, Paul. The smell of old books and the sight of these towering shelves are enchanting. Are you looking for something specific? I am on a quest to find a classic. Perhaps some Dickens or Austin. They have a way of painting pictures with words that's just mesmerizing. What about you? I'm on the hunt for a gripping mystery. Sherlock Holmes never fails to enthrall me with his cunning and wit. This bookshop seems to be an Aladdin's cave of sorts, doesn't it? Indeed. The sheer diversity of books here is astonishing. From science fiction to autobiographies, there's a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Speaking of autobiographies, have you ever read The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank? It's a poignant and powerful read. I have, and it was profoundly moving. Sometimes, real-life stories can be even more compelling than fiction. By the way, have you ventured into the fantasy section? The Harry Potter series is always a magical escape. Oh, I adore Harry Potter. J.K. Rowling created a universe that is both thrilling and heartwarming. The characters feel like old friends. That's the beauty of books. They can transport you to distant lands, immerse you in exhilarating adventures, and touch your heart in unimaginable ways. So true. Books also have this amazing ability to teach us empathy and understanding. They allow us to experience life through the eyes of characters that are often so different from us. Absolutely. Through reading, we can share in the joys, sorrows, trials, and triumphs of characters. It broadens our perspective and enriches our lives. Oh look, Paul. There's a small reading nook in the corner with comfortable chairs. How inviting. What a splendid discovery. Hillary, would you like to join me in the reading nook? We can each pick a book and share a quiet reading session. That sounds delightful, Paul. I'll grab a Sherlock Holmes mystery. How about you? I think I'll pick up Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Let's meet in the reading nook in five minutes. This is perfect. The soft lighting and the quiet atmosphere create the ideal reading space. Yes, it's like we found a little sanctuary in the midst of the bustling city. Shall we start reading? Let's delve into our books. Happy reading, Hillary. Happy reading to you too, Paul. Hey, do you have a daily routine? Yes, I do. It helps me stay organized and productive. That's great. Did you know that having a daily routine has many benefits? I didn't know that. What are some of the benefits? Well, having a routine can reduce stress, improve sleep, and increase productivity. That's interesting. How does it reduce stress? When you have a routine, you know what to expect, and it reduces uncertainty and anxiety. That makes sense. And how does it improve sleep? Having a regular sleep schedule helps regulate your body's internal clock, making it easier to fall asleep and wake up. I see. And how does it increase productivity? When you have a routine, you can prioritize your tasks and avoid wasting time on unimportant things. That's helpful to know. I might need to start implementing a daily routine. It's definitely worth trying. You might be surprised at how much it can improve your life. Hey, do you know what a library is? Yes, a library is a place where we can find many books and other materials for reading and learning. That's right. And do you know the main purposes of using a library? Sure, we go to the library to read books, study, 
do research, and sometimes attend events or classes. Exactly. Libraries are not just for books. They also have computers, movies, and music. Have you ever used a library for these things? Yes, I have. I borrowed a movie from the library last week. It was really fun to watch. Great. And do you know about library culture? Library culture means how people behave and respect each other and the library rules when they are in a library, right? Yes, that's correct. We should be quiet, respectful, and take care of the library materials. Now, let's talk about how libraries can help with education. Can you think of some ways? Sure, libraries have books for all ages, so they are helpful for learning new things. They also have study spaces where we can focus and do our homework. That's true. Libraries can also help us find information for projects or reports. The librarians are always there to help us if we need it. Have you ever asked a librarian for help? Yes, I have. Last year, I had a project about animals, and the librarian helped me find a book with pictures and facts about different kinds of animals. Libraries can also provide access to online resources that we may not have at home, like educational websites and databases. Have you used any online resources at the library? Yes, I have used the library's computers to search for information and watch videos for my school projects. As you can see, libraries play an essential role in our education and personal growth. They are a treasure trove of knowledge and a place where we can learn and grow together. I agree. I love going to the library and discovering new things. It's a fantastic place for everyone to learn and have fun. Hi, my friend. I just got a new mobile phone. I am so happy. Wow, that's great. What kind of phone is it? It is a Samsung phone. It is very nice and has many good things. I like Samsung phones too. They are easy to use and have good cameras. Yes, the camera is one of the reasons I chose this phone. I love taking photos. Me too. We should go to the park and take some pictures together with your new phone. That sounds like a fun idea. When do you want to go? How about tomorrow afternoon? The weather is supposed to be nice. Perfect. I will be ready. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 2 p.m. near the big tree in the park. Great! I will see you there. Don't forget to bring some snacks. I will bring some sandwiches and drinks. Do you like orange juice? Yes, I love orange juice. Thank you for bringing it. You're welcome. I'm looking forward to spending time with you and trying out your new phone. Me too. We will have a great time together. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, my friend. Have a good day. You too. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm so tired. I don't think I have the energy to cook a meal tonight. You should reconsider. Having a healthy and balanced meal at night can provide you with the energy you need for the next day. Really? I thought it was better to have a light meal at night. Actually, research shows that having a nutritious evening meal can help you sleep better, improve digestion, and boost your metabolism. I had no idea. What kind of foods should I be eating? You should aim for a balanced meal that includes protein, complex carbohydrates, and healthy fats. For example, grilled chicken, roasted sweet potatoes, and steamed broccoli. That sounds delicious. What are some other benefits of having a healthy evening meal? Well, it can also help regulate your blood sugar levels, reduce cravings, and improve your overall health and well-being. I had no idea. 
I'll definitely start cooking more nutritious meals at night. That's great to hear. Your body will thank you for it. Hi, how are you today? Hello, I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm fine too, thanks. How do you buy fuel at a gas station in English? It's quite easy, Bob. When you go to a gas station, you can simply say, I would like to buy some fuel, please. And how do I ask for a specific amount of fuel or money? You can say, could I have $20 worth of gas, please? or please give me 10 liters of fuel. What if I want to pay with a credit card or cash? You can ask, can I pay with my credit card or do you accept cash? If I need help at the gas station, what can I say? You can ask, excuse me, could you help me with the pump, please? What about when I need to find a gas station? What should I ask? You can ask someone, excuse me, can you tell me where the nearest gas station is? If I want to know if the gas station has a restroom or a store? You can ask, does this gas station have a restroom or is there a store here? Thanks a lot, Alice. That's very helpful. Do you have any other tips for me? Just remember to be polite and use please and thank you when asking for help or making requests. And don't worry, most people are happy to help. Thank you, Alice. Have a nice day. You too, Bob. Take care. I feel like I'm always busy at work, but I don't always get much done. I know what you mean. Sometimes, it feels like we're just doing busy work. What do you mean by busy work? Busy work is work that doesn't contribute to our goals or objectives. It's usually repetitive and time-consuming. That makes sense. Do you have any examples? Sure, checking and responding to emails excessively, attending unnecessary meetings, and filling out unnecessary paperwork are all examples of busy work. Wow, I didn't realize how much time I waste on those tasks. It's important to prioritize our work and focus on tasks that contribute to our goals. That way, we can be more productive and efficient. That's a great point. I'll start being more mindful of my tasks and focus on what's important. That's a good idea. Remember, we can always ask for help or delegate tasks to others to reduce our workload. Hey, friend. Do you want to go to the bakery today? Hello. Yes, I like that idea. What do you want to do there? I want to eat chocolate cake and drink milky coffee. What about you? That sounds good. I would like to have a cookie with grapes and a cup of coffee. Great. We can also celebrate a birthday there. Do you know someone who has a birthday soon? Yes, our friend Sarah has a birthday next week. We can plan a party for her at the bakery. That's a nice idea. We can invite our friends and have a good time together. We should call our friends and ask if they can come. What day is good for the party? How about Saturday? People are free on weekends, and the bakery will not be too busy. Saturday sounds perfect. I will call our friends and tell them about the party. Thank you. I will talk to the bakery and ask if they can make a special cake for Sarah. Great. Do you know what kind of cake she likes? I think she likes strawberry cake. We can ask the bakery to make a big strawberry cake for her. That's a good idea. I'm sure she will love it. Do we need to bring anything else to the party? We can bring some small gifts and balloons to make the party more fun. I agree. I will buy some balloons and a nice gift for Sarah. 
Can you help me choose the gift? Of course. We can go shopping together this week and find something she will like. Thank you, friend. I'm excited for the party. It will be a lot of fun. Me too. I can't wait to celebrate with our friends at the bakery. See you soon. See you soon. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Hi. I'm interested in learning new things. What do you like to do? I love art. I like to draw and paint. It's very relaxing and fun. That's cool. I'm not very good at art. Can you teach me? Sure. The first step is to start with simple shapes and lines. Then, you can add details and colors. Practice makes perfect. Thanks. I'll try that. What else do you like to do? I also like to read and watch TV. What kind of books do you like? I like adventure books. They are exciting. What about TV shows? I like funny shows. They make me laugh. What do you like? I like cartoons and some funny shows, too. They make me happy. That's great. Laughter is good for you. What else do you like to do? I like to play sports. Do you play any sports? I play basketball. It's a fun game. Do you want to learn how to play? Yes, please. That would be great. How do I start? The first step is to practice dribbling and shooting. Then, you can learn the rules and strategies of the game. Let's play together. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Remember, learning new things takes time and practice. But it's worth it.